back alley hacks is right up there with roller hockey. I'd say it's probably the most important thing in my life right now. Last year, you know, your boy Bobby D won the Cy Young. Um, this year though, spring training, I'll be honest, my shoulder hurts, man. You okay? That's bad. You pull something? That's bad. You know? I'm getting old. I don't know how many more years I got. So like, I gotta sacrifice a little pain and it's like a risk reward. And I like to win MVP again. I like to win Cy Young again. Having a back-to-back -back MVP, start of a career, end of a career. I think it's insane that these people are trying to find a way to make this work when it's clearly just them wanting to play wiffle ball at work. If you add up all the time they play wiffle ball, they miss a full work day, just every week. I don't really know what it is. I know it's exclusive. And I know that when I, whenever I go out there, people, they stop play and I get curious. I don't know what's going on. So they're training for something. I don't know what they're training for. Spring training begins now. And in just a few days, the Wiffle Ball League, known as Back Alley Hacks, will begin their second season. The players will compete individually against each other in a battle to have the best stats and take home the MVP trophy at the end of the season. Although this is only the second season in the alley, this is the final season. Friday Beers is moving offices in three weeks and the players must squeeze an entire season into just 15 days, which means every hack counts. All the pros, they scuff their balls. Yeah, I'll show you scuff balls. For me, I like a controlled sink. I got one pitch, sinker. And I like it when it's controlled. And I feel like when it's scuffed a lot, I just can't really control it. So I don't like as much scuff. I like a little bit. If anyone knows balls, it's veteran Bobby Dolan, who made a name for himself last season by winning oh, both MVP it. and Cy Young awards. And this season, he carries a target on his back. I gotta put this fucking pussy down. Took out one stung a little bit. Yeah, first day of spring training, you know, the boys are out here um, just trying to be competitive, trying to hit some dong shots. I guess we'll see what happens today. Two, two count. Yep. Yep, yep, two ground outs. Ground ball pitcher, ground ball pitcher. They're saying you're washed. They're saying you're overrated. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Exactly where I want Bobby. He's got the confidence up. Now I'm gonna hit a fucking moonshot off his ass. Gavin McHugh has a big mouth, yet a big swing to back it. And the 2023 home run leader thinks that Bobby rigged the MVP votes in his favor. I don't give a shit what you say. He also got it. Who gives a shit? What are we, playing wall ball or wiffle ball? For the rules aspect, rules are pretty up in the air. Gameplay is very subjective. It's all the eye test. We kind of just decide, single, double, home run or whatever. It's a single. Pass him, single. This is bullshit. He knew it wasn't a hit. He was begging for it. You're out there for yourself. There's no fielding. There's no running bases. It's kind of like Wii Sports baseball style in that way. With the game rules being tailored to the alley, it's the only possible field for the sport to be played. You keep track of individual stats. Well, Bobby keeps track of the stats. Literally, I was sitting here in a meeting like 25 minutes ago and a wiffle ball just slammed into that window and gave me like a jump scare. You know, kind of similar to Willie D when you're trying to work and make money for this company and there's balls flying out the window, it can be a little distracting, so. Yeah, I think it's a huge waste of time, but uh, that's, uh, you know, they're having fun. That's all that matters, right? Do you think Jack should allow it? Like, do I think it's a impediment to them doing their work, getting their work done? No. I encourage it. Wiffle ball is a skill that is a life thing to learn more than it is just like a fun game to play. 
What I saw out there was a dedication to perfecting the craft of a sport that really takes a lot of practice. Bobby gets his hacks in every single time that you guys play. He can fucking stroke the ball. I think the mastermind behind back alley hacks must have been Bobby Dolan. Likes to get out of working, more of a live to work kind of guy. So I'm the dude that runs the Be The Move account. Usually when I'm editing, I like to have some sort of upper. Today, my choice is a Red Bull. I usually go with sugar-free, but not so much today. Yeah, I'll just lock in, man. I'll try to lock in for like a solid two hours. I mean, I do like coming to work. I do like working on content and all that stuff, but like the level of jazz I get when I'm going out in the alley, we got a clean field, like, man. But then also, here's some stats from last year. So you got Dolan, led the league in BA. Gavin was right there, 471. Lupica got hot late, 313. I was saying, Bobby, you know, he, he, it is sketchy that the same guy who was taking the numbers for the league is the MVP. He also kept the votes. He won the MVP, he got the votes, he did the stats. It's sketchy. As the reigning MVP in Cy Young, there's a target on my back, and there have been murmurs like, oh, the guy who keeps stats happens to be the MVP, happens to be the Cy Young, which uh, is kind of preposterous. All right, boys, so we got the new season coming up. It's only going to last a couple of weeks, which, uh, you know, under a bit of a time constraint. The lunch of him? How about you shopping these highways? So, uh, <laughs> you know, we talked about kind of rotating who keeps score. We don't want this to be... You keep score. I did keep score, because I... That's your job. I, I did keep score. Who started but... rotating? I'm just saying, I think the, it should be, other people should have access to the stats and we should rotate around. Dude, there's gonna be more miscued stats now than ever. It's gonna be in multiple people's hands. Well, that brown ball actually could have been a single and everyone's like, yeah. No, fine, we don't have to keep fucking stats up. Bobby will keep stats. You got me all pissed yeah, off. We'll, we'll, we'll hash this out. We've been uh, in the midst of a lockout because Bobby doesn't want to keep stats anymore. Yeah, I guess you can call it a lockout. Sure. I consider myself an honest man kind of questions my, who I am as a human being, my integrity. Oh yeah, the guy who keeps stats is the MVP. I'm like, why don't we just figure out a system where everyone keeps stats? No one's budging. And uh, so as far as I'm concerned, we're in a lockout. And so we figured out the stat thing. I think the craziest part is, is it's the sports guys and, and it's taken this long for you guys to be like, we should film that. It's pretty incredible. Really great content brands here, obviously. It's loud and it disrupts our workplace environment. Yeah, this is it. This is the last time we'll be out in this alley. So to go out with a bang, winning the Cy Young, winning the MVP, leaving it all out here, it's the only thing that matters. There's a lot of great memories in this stadium. Yeah. Who's gonna have the last home run in the back alley? Who's gonna have the last strikeout in the back alley? All these things are super important. Bobby wins this year. If he sweeps like he did last year, there's gonna be some people clamoring, and I hope for his sake that doesn't happen. Stats or no stats? No stats. Dude. 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 You don't want this stat, Kevin. Come on. This has got a one-way ticket. I'm, no, I'm, I'm using my stuff and it's not for stats. Not for stats. Every day on lockout means one less day for players to prove themselves. Moving forward, if it was up to me, it would just be continuing to roll with Bobby, but that's a long shot at this point. Yeah, I think we do need to bring someone in from the outside and someone who has no stake in the league. Maybe a summer intern? Pay him maybe in like Chipotle. Can't do that. Desperate to save the season, Gavin calls in a favor from an old friend. Oh yeah, we've been grinding out. What's up, dude? How's it going, man? Bobby, what's up, man? How's it going? Nice to meet you, dude. Good to meet you, man. Cool, all right. Nice to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah, this is like the real shit right here. Yeah, we got the strike zone. Wow. You want to take a hack? Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. A Sandlot legend, Patrick Renna, is here to take the opening hack of the season and hopefully cheer up Bobby. I'm good, I'm good. I'm hard, dog! Don't ask me if I'm all right. You got that one, Edric? 
This is level ball. What is that, home run? That's probably a double. That's probably a double to the line. Nice, man. No Great season up, begins in the alley until the opening day pitch is thrown. Thank you, thank you. A little picture yeah, we gotta tarp the field. It's great. <laughs> we actually don't have a tarp. Um, it's actually it's on the way here. We uh, we purchased one. We're still waiting for it to ship, so uh, we're gonna have to wrap this up soon. But um, I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully, it holds off for a little bit. A rain delay is the last thing this league needed. Tropical Storm Hillary is the first to hit California in 84 years, pouring more than half the average annual rainfall on parts of the region in just hours. With over half the season scrapped, the league is in trouble. Yeah, obviously uh, tough weather day today. It's raining. Um, but the bottom line is we need to get this season started. There's only a couple days left in the season, so uh, we really have no other choice. All the introductions, we've had all the pomp and circumstance, we've had all the fuss and feathers, but it's time, it's time for baseball. So Bobby is keeping stats? I want to feel it. Let's see if he can hit it. Oh! <laughs> Benny can't hit it! Oh! That's enough? Do you want to hit there? Hit? What are you talking about? Don't tell the camera you want to hit there so everybody can watch it back and mock you. I can find a gap one time bigger than the house. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. Frustration sets in for Bobby Dolan. He's battling a shoulder injury. Tranquilo. He's got a little Mad Max Scherzer in him. There's a lot of wind, dude. This is wild. Oh, what? Lost finally woke up back there. Golden relief, not bad. Bobby's reputation is on the line, and he's feeling the pressure. Ah! God. All right, I gotta fight. Bobby's fight appears to be no match for veteran Zach Lupica, who's out for revenge as he finished second in MVP votes last season. That's a dot. This is where I need to just put this guy down like a dying dog. That's good. That's the pitch I was telling you about. I'm not good with that one. Oh, no, man. Bang, Lupe. Yep. Yep. In that hand. One. Zach Lubica is finding a rhythm while Gavin McHugh appears to be lost. That's a ground out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a fair ball. Son, that's a fair ball. Let me get the stats real quick. Can we do the stats after? Can we do the stats after? We're pouring rain. He's in the garage keeping stats when he's supposed to be pitching. So is that, what do we do with that? I don't know. You didn't discuss it in the preseason meeting, Hard, dude. That was hit hard. Gone. Blocks. That, that was, was popped hard. up. Yeah. No, I thought that was hit pretty hard, though. No? 
Am I living in a fantasy land? I mean, I'm getting called outs that are foul. I'm getting home runs that almost fucking. Whoever wants it, whoever knows it's good for him. Uh, I feel good. I went deep. Need to execute better with two strikes when I'm pitching. Gavin looks completely lost, which I feel bad for him because he is a good kid. Can't expect much day one, that's for sure. Yeah, that's, yeah I guess that's what you gotta say. This season blows. We've only gotten two games on the schedule. And it's not a large enough sample size to call it a season. G Gavin said he needed a, a vacation away from back alley hacks because his swings were bad. I think, listen, for a guy as talented as that, you gotta listen to what the heart is telling you. If he needs to take a step away from the game, and then realize that, you know, come back refreshed, wealthy. I think that's I think that's important for him. A little trip to Vegas can get dangerous at times. I just hope the boys get ready for this upcoming big season. Get money attic, I'ma get money tatted. Money in the attics, money in the stashes, money in the cabinets, stuffed in the mattress. Safe full of guns, more money up in that shit. Taz on a Tisa, Jeremy's got a Vitas, Mason Martin, Margella, three straps. So there's rumors a bunch of the guys last night went to a topless dance show. That's gonna be throwing off a lot of fundamentals. Bobby was face down, blacked out somewhere. He might not make it out of Vegas. I haven't trained, I haven't warmed up for shit. I'm fucked. Bobby's fucked more. Look at that. Look at that ass. With the move right around the corner, today is the last day to play in the alley. Yeah, so I mean, the fact that everyone's been on vacation, kind of fucking around, I mean, even yours truly, we've had to cut some games, we had to postpone, reschedule, so it's gonna be a shorter season. Card short, car behind home. Card center, car behind home. We're cooked. It feels yeah. terrible. Is it? Nothing, no dice. Cancel the season, we can cancel the season, like. It shouldn't count. Is it because you had a shitty year? I'm just trying to say that it's not a big enough sample size. Do whatever you want to do. Shove it up your ass. How about that? Print it out. Do whatever you want, dude. Yeah, what do you want to do? I just figure if there was more games in the season, make it worth more. Makes it count more. This looks pretty clear. We got a guy playing with his dog in the last, but outside of that, dude, we may have a feel for ourselves. Play. Sure. Oh, all right after this guy. guy Are we doing playing. this? We live? Coming up from the minors, double A player. Ooh. 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 Whoa. There you go. Hey, good attack. That was a good attack. Good attack. Bobby's a dick for strike on that. Yo, Bobby, mark any stats? Yeah, I got him. Why is it always Bob that's got to take the stats? Right? Said. I can, I can keep stats. Bob. Bob. Yeah. Oh, I'm nice. good with math. Okay, I'm James. All right, cool. So he's um, so we use a couple different things. K is for strikeout. Oh, okay. And then uh, so this guy's up right now. Uh, the guy in the white, his name's Gavin. Gavin. Yeah, so okay. he's hitting. So once he's done hitting, which I'll tell you what to write next to this guy's name. Okay. Right here in the hitting column. Okay, we'll do. And uh, yeah. This man for Ben under the H column, do G O. So different and so new was I could be a single. Yeah, do uh, G-O next to me. And then it happened. Oh man, thanks for keeping the book. It took me by surprise. Appreciate you. I you oh, look at that. Too. Better handwriter than me. By the look in your eyes. Hey, Appreciate you, thank you. Sweeter than wine. Softer than the summer night Everything I want I have Whenever I hold you tight Even There's with the guest statistician, the league decided it was best to scrap the stats for the season. I'm gonna say the city of Venice is real winners here. You know, I think um, 
get to see another side of Venice. You know, it's not all, uh, you know, glit and glam. We got Abbey Kinney. We got some uh, bougie stores, you know, you get expensive shoes, expensive lunch, but you know, at the heart of Venice, it's still, it's still a gritty town. Kind of what Back Alley is all about. Yeah, sure, we can give out awards, you know, we can talk and smack, but I think at the end of the day, it's all about a couple guys having a fun time playing a little football, so yeah. I saw a tweet the other day that said, there was a moment where you and your friends played outside for the last time and you didn't know it. And for us, that's not the case.